Project-based learning is an instructional approach in which learning is focused on addressing an authentic, complex problem or addressing a driving question. Learning content is a necessary part of being able to complete the project. In PBL, the curriculum is the project. In project-based learning, teachers working in teams, often in cross-disciplinary teams, create a PBL unit. It is important that each unit have an authentic outcome. Often, partners in the local community are sought for different PBL units to create an authentic audience and a purpose for a unit. For example, a social studies teacher and a science teacher may team up and have students create a cookbook based on the ethnic groups in a community. The students would market the cookbook on a website created by a web design class and all the profits would be donated to a local food bank. In order to support teachers in creating the plan curriculum, the Buck Institute for Education at BIE.org created several scaffolding tools, such as a PBL Essential Elements Checklist, Project Design Rubric, Project Assessment Map, Project Overview, and Project Teaching and Learning Guide. Using these scaffolding tools will help ensure that the plan curriculum in a classroom or school is truly PBL and not just doing projects. The enacted curriculum is largely students collaborating, participating in self-directed learning, conducting research, and getting peer and teacher feedback as they work to address a complex question or challenge. In PBL, the teacher acts as a facilitator and responds to student needs. For example, after students are presented with the question, problem, or challenge at the beginning of a unit, students complete a know and need to know chart. The teacher will help facilitate learning as dictated by the student needs they self-identify in this process. In this way, the planned curriculum is more of a curricular framework that broadly guides the teachers and students toward a target. In PBL, the enacted, experienced, and hidden curriculum are closely intertwined. As different elements of the experienced and hidden curriculum interact, the teacher is able to adjust the enacted curriculum to accommodate the student needs. At the end of a unit, a teacher may reflect and incorporate some revisions into the planned curriculum. Marsh and Willis define hidden curriculum as parts of the environment that are unplanned or even unplannable, such as all the unacknowledged attitudes, beliefs, codes of conduct, and conventions for social relationships that form the overall but constantly shifting milieu of the school. One of the most difficult aspects of PBL is the hidden curriculum. One of the challenges frequently identified in research is that students can become overwhelmed by the change in roles in the classroom. The role of a student in a PBL environment is much different than in a traditional classroom. As a result, students' beliefs and attitudes about what it means to be a student are challenged when they are new to PBL. Experienced PBL teachers work hard at incorporating student scaffolds into the planned and enacted curriculum so that students are not overwhelmed by the hidden curriculum. Project-based learning fits within the progressivism paradigm. According to Sadker and Sadker, a progressive curriculum is one in which students develop social skills like cooperation, interact with nature or society, learn in an integrated or cross-disciplinary fashion, solve real-life problems, and learn by doing. All these elements of progressivism can be found in PBL curriculum.